So now let's see how we can add in a breed behavior onto our character right here. And to add in a breed behavior onto our character, first of all, we need to go on to the rig section. And then over here on the body part, I'm going to select out uh, the torso right here, which is this whole body part according to what I've led it as. So I'm just going to go around and add in a breed over here on the chest area. So I'm going to go around and then add in a handle right over here. I'm selecting the handle tool and then I'm going to click right here. Once I do that, you can see right here that in the miscellaneous section, there's breathe right here. So I can just tag that in right there. So once you do that, what you have to do now is add a breathe behavior to make the character seem as if it is breathing out. To do that, I'm going to click on body and then I'm going to scroll down and over here in the behaviors portion, I can simply click plus and over here, I can choose breed. So the breed behavior has been added in. So now let's see how that looks out. So in the record section, you can see that it looks like this right here. So there's a subtle breathing of the character as you can see right here, just like this. You have to make sure that uh, the arms and then everything else is not independent. So if I were to go for, let's say for example, uh, right arm and left arm independent, the breathing will look unnatural, just like this. As you can see right here, the breathing uh, also changes around the arms right here because the arms is quite stiff if you make it independent, as you can see. So I'm just going to go around over here, disable these things so that the breathing looks much more natural. You can see that it actually blows in and blows out right over there. So now what you can do is over here on the right side, once you select out the layer and go over here on the right side, you can see that breathe body is there. The breathe behavior has been added in. So I can change some parameters right here. So let's say there's 15 breathing per minute. So if I were to change it to something like 40, the breathing becomes faster as you can see. I can also increase out the breed scale. So right now it's 150 right there. So I can go around and type in somewhere around like 400 as well. So that really distorts stuff. So uh, it is not recommended to actually do that. But I just want to show you like what happens. So I'm just going to go around into 120% right here. Not much, just a subtle breathing as you can see. I can also go for minimum mere minimal scale. So I can actually say something like 90%. So it actually pulls in a bit as well. So let's go 80% right here, pulls in and pulls out as you can see right here. I can change around the offset of the breathing as well. So that uh, the breathing is up and down right over here. So let me just go around into four and you can see that it actually breathes up and down right over there. I can also change the direction of the breathing right here, as you can see, but uh, that, that doesn't work out. It uh, actually deta detaches from the head right over here. So I'm just going to go for zero in my case. And you can see that the character keeps on breathing and we do not need to add in any keyframes or whatsoever. And this makes it much more natural uh, as a character. So that is how you can add in the breed behavior inside of Adobe Character Animator. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.